Hi, be prepared for these questions at your next interview. First one being, what are your three or five year plans? You want to be true to yourself. Um, obviously, the answer to this question, you will have done some research. Can this company offer you a future in three years, in five years? Don't be afraid to say, I'm, I'm looking to be in the next management position. Now, it's all in the delivery. If you want their job, this manager interviewing you, make sure you let them know, but don't be cocky about it. Um, many managers are looking for that kind of answer. They're looking for some kind of succession plan because they want to move up. So they need to identify people that they want to hire and that can do their job in a, in a couple of years. So don't be afraid to say it, but make sure you're realistic in how long it's going to take you to get there. Um, next question is, why should we hire you? Now, you need to be prepared for this question. It's, it is asked often, but a lot of people have a blank stare or very loosey-goosey answers. So focus on the things that make you unique for this role and how you fill in the gaps for, the, for what they're looking for. The other kind of question is, why do you want to work here? That requires research. So you're going to be telling the employer the things you found out about them that make you excited to come and work there. Third question is, tell me about a time that you failed and how, what did you learn? Doesn't always get asked, but be prepared to talk about a failure of yours. Most people don't want to talk about those things in interviews, but this question does come up. You want to show how you recovered, what you learned um, with, with that question. Tell me about yourself. This is a question that a lot of people have a struggle with. So yes, you want to talk about a little bit about your personality, but you want to focus on the things that make you unique for the job. You want to focus on the gaps that you think that, they're, that they need in the job and where you fill in those gaps. Um, if you have done something extraordinary, like you've run 25 marathons in the last year, great to mention that because that shows mental toughness, physical toughness, and that's might be, you know, that's a definitely a positive thing. But focus on the business aspect of this question and maybe throw in a couple of personal things that set you apart. Um, how do you want to be managed? Focus on the managers that you've had that you have loved and what work for you with while working for these managers and also think about the things that you have not liked. Be true to yourself because you don't want to end up working for a manager um, completely opposite to the kind that motivates you and that you've loved working for. Um, the other question is, um, tell me about your weaknesses. Now, the employer here is not looking for a list necessarily. What you should be actually looking at here is the things that you have struggled with or maybe even, think about this, the things that you've never had a chance to, to, to do in your past jobs. So I've always wanted to be able to do X, Y, Z and in my past positions not been able to do that. That's something I'd like to focus on and develop in my, in my career. I hope these questions help you. I'm Don Williams from Serious Personnel. I can be reached on LinkedIn and on Twitter. Happy selling.